Welcome to the Marine Channel. My name's David. We're in Pool today on a beautiful sunny November day and today we want to show you a boat that has amazing quality, Scandinavian quality, along with a whole host of really, really ingenious features. The boat we're showing you is a Grandeza 37AC. Um, it's here behind me now and we'd like to take you around it and show you uh, all it's got to offer. So the first thing you notice stepping onto this um, huge bathing platform is the, is the space you've got. There's plenty of room to store a tender on here um, or alternatively put seats out here. There's just uh, acres of space. And again, the, the ingenuity starts here. We start with these cleats, which are in use at the moment, obviously, but will fold down there. So they're totally flush and you don't trip over them. Next along the way, I just pop this up. Under here, we have a fold-out swim ladder, which just flops down into the water there. Now, also back here, we have these really ingenious stowages, one for fenders on this side, and then on this side, we've got another for warps, mooring lines, and anything else you want to tuck in there just keeps them out of the way and keeps them really neat. No exposed fender baskets. Over here, the final thing on the bathing platform is the, the deck shower. So hop out of the sea there and shower yourself off and get rid of that salt water. So we're gonna start the tour by going around the outside of the boat. Now the boat is actually asymmetric, which means that one side of the boat, the starboard side, has wider decks than the other. And let's have a little look around. So what that means, is you have plenty of space. And even my size 12 shoes can pretty much get in there. Um, but also these, the decks on this side are lower than the other side, which obviously makes them safer. So the bulwarks themselves come up to my knees and the rail comes up to lower waist, I guess. Um, teak decks all around on this boat. Um, and also what we have here is a really neat grate. So in there we have a drain, obviously, but also you've got your fuel filler there and your waste water emptying station there. And what that means is if you have any spillages from that, it's not going on the deck, it's going out the drain there and, uh, and isn't contaminating anything. So let's go a little further round and we notice something here that we will have a look probably a bit more closer when we're inside, but we've got a full length door and it's glass all the way. And this is right by the helm station, meaning that you can, if you're helming on your own or shorthanded, easily hop out. And again, you've got that really chunky midships cleat um, close to hand. So you can get a, a, a mid line on there and, and at least make the boat fast while you um, sort out all the other lines. Let's go forward again. Now, as I come up on my way to the foredeck, Good thing to note here, we've got this huge sunroof which retracts and we'll show you that in operation later. But we also have back here some fairly chunky solar um, panels which work really well at topping up those batteries. Um, the boat doesn't have a generator so it means that when you're um, away from shore power it just gives you that little bit extra time um, surviving on battery power alone. Right, let's go forward. And again as we move forward we're faced with this windscreen which is one piece so there's no um, pillars in there to obscure view and these huge wipers and look how close together they are so you're not going to get any um, missed spots there and they also have as you can see from the little pipe here on both sides they've got a washer system as well so wash that salt off now as we walk around We've got the covers on at the moment, but under there, there is a lovely large sun pad, which is uh, fairly typical, obviously on a boat this size. But what isn't typical, I'm just gonna flip the covers back here. At the bottom of the sun pad is also a little seat. So this flops up here and you've got cup holders here and a little footwell. So you can sit really comfortably at anchor or whatever, enjoying the view out over the water. So deck continues, nice working uh, foredeck area. Again, these hugely chunky cleats, um, certainly bigger than you expect to find on uh, a lot of boats. Um, and then in the locker here, and again, it's on a gas strut, which is really nice. Don't often get that. You've got a, all the anchor gear, so you've got the windlass with the 
handle for uh, any failure that you might encounter um, and the, the chain neatly hidden away down there. You've also got a really neat hook so if you had another line in there you can just hook it on there and keep it out of the way of the anchor. Now the anchor isn't through a stem fitting it comes out just below there through the hull. Right, let's wander back and have a look at the interior. Right, as we enter the cockpit, um, it feels like a really cosy enclosed space. And the reason for that is obviously we've got the, um, the covers on at the moment. Um, we're in November and uh, it's just keeping that little breeze off us at the moment. So um, it's an all year round boat really and really suited to um, probably Northern Europe climates. Um, the boat does have a hard top up here, uh, sorry, a soft top up here, which I'll just show you. Retracts really quite quickly. But what it gives you is flexibility. So if you were in a day when today it's a little bit breezy and you probably don't want the, the breeze hitting you in the face, but you want to get some air, you want to let that blue sky in, then this gives you the best of both worlds. The cockpit feels nice and spacious, um, has a really nice table here. So at the moment we see it folded up and we've got access to the cup holders and it's a solid table. You've got some really good handles there to, to get hold of. But if you are entertaining, dining, a few more people, the table extends to something like that and you can uh, accommodate a lot more food and drink. Now, this table has a little party trick as well. And if I go and find the button, you will find it drops down. So it can either be a dining table, if you lower it down it can be a drinks table, coffee table, and if you put it right down and flop those leaves over it can make into uh, a huge sun pad. So a really nice flexible um, system there. Now the seating again is you, you really see the quality of the seating here. Um, it goes all the way around. You could seat, what, one, two, three, four, five people in there. Another really nice feature, and I suppose shows the quality of the boat, is when you lift this seat up to get access to the storage, you're not throwing a cushion somewhere. It's actually on a, a really nice stainless hinge and, uh, and a gas strut there as well to keep it up so you don't have to keep hold of it. And we'll pop that down again. Right, let's come into the boat. Now the boat itself, we have um, twin sliding doors here. So this will all enclose obviously, but it, they lock off here so they're not flying around uh, in a seaway. The first thing we're presented with is the galley area. And I'll just quickly talk you through these um, controls here. So this gives you controls to um, all the, the tables, uh, the sunroof that I talked about there. It's got control for the inverter, um, control for uh, the hob down here cooking um, and you've got uh, an electric engine hatch as well so great controls and also you've got a control for the fusion stereo system now the main control is elsewhere but this just makes it convenient if you're in the cockpit to be able to control your music so the galley so we've got a twin uh, Wallace hob there um, really nice molded sink uh, there's a cover to go on that you've got um, a drainer but also to put hot plates on so you take your hot pan off the the burner there and pop it on there. Now the other big thing about this boat is the amount of storage it has because it is plentiful um, and if we just quickly look this is actually a customer boat so it has got um, personal belongings on but look at that drawer cutlery drawer all nicely segmented but that drawer is really solid and it just glides in and there we have a soft close at the end and again Plenty of storage here. I'm not going to go through every drawer because it would be um, a bit relentless. But in here we have a really nice fridge with freezer in there, full of beer by the looks of it, which is always good. Now this is a by the looks of it a Waco fridge from Dometic, which I know from experience um, are tropically rated and also a really low current drawer, so they're great again for being an anchor. Here we have a microwave, which is a combi. So you've got a, an oven and a microwave in there. And again down here, storage. But look at this storage. Cut out for the glasses and just really solid in there. And again, over here, we've got more storage. A 
a lot of glasses and just drawers everywhere for all your crockery and cutlery and then finally before we start looking at the port side of the boat we've got another chiller drawer here so I guess you'd probably put your drinks in here although they've got their beers in the fridge but a useful second bit of chilling there right let's have a look at the um, seating area so this again is is uh, controllable the table goes up and down just give you a quick up and down there and the sound of the motor is really quiet for one thing but it really sounds quality sometimes you you operate these mechanisms and they found it sound a little bit kind of clunky to be honest um, but again you've got seating for what I don't know four five six people there the control over here is interesting because that's your battery charging but it also is for your solar panels now just looking around generally um, the, the big thing is these huge side windows which go pretty much top to bottom and just give you a massive view of wherever you are so whether you're on passage or anchored in a bay so let's start with the helm station right so I'm going to uh, adopt the position here um, first thing to say is brilliant view out I can see right from uh, the bow pretty much to the stern because of these big side windows and if we look at what we've got here, we've got all the usual um, switches here for, for horn and pumps and um, wipers and things. And we looked at those wipers earlier. But then dead ahead of you, exactly where you'd want it, you've got a huge Garmin screen. Now that Garmin screen covers um, all your nav, obviously, but it also has engine displays on there. It has uh, radar, um, a whole load of sort of functions on there. And here we've got the VHF. Um, this is actually uh, engine controls as well. Now this boat has Macruiser 270 horse diesels um, built in with a, a joystick here as well, which is um, really useful and takes the um, worry out of mooring. So sideways and the boat literally goes sideways. Um, and this one has the skyhook function. So press skyhook and it works with GPS to keep your boat absolutely pinned in that position so if you were short-handed coming into the marina it means you can stop before you come in put the sky hook on the boat will stay exactly where it is and you can get out there put your fenders on put your lines on and get ready to come in so here we have the the uh, main controls for the engines and these are really chunky and really nicely to hand as well um, just don't have to stretch for anything um, it all feels you know really nicely located the final thing we've got here is the zip weight controls now these are um, trim tabs in effect but they're a much more sophisticated system so rather than two plates that pivot down like traditional trim tabs you have effectively blades that come down at the back uh, unfortunately the boat's in the water so we can't show you those but those blades come down and and perform the same purpose as your trim tabs that you would uh, know already this system is actually an automatic system so when you set it it will automatically adjust for any roll or pitch in the boat so it makes driving it really simple really simple indeed so let's open this door and just have a look here so here i am um, just coming into my marina berth all i have to do is step out here and get my mooring lines on so really useful for short-handed um, sailing i'll just close that up again now the other thing we've got here is the ability to stand up and look out of the sunroof and i'm just going to pop the roof back and that's a really nice mechanism as well as hopefully you can see but in doing so it really makes it open as well so you've got these huge glass panels at the side and then open at the top but what it means is if i flip up this bolster here it means i can stand and then stick my head out of the roof and if i just show you that is what I'm seeing at eye level. So it gives you a tremendous view. And I'll just hop down here again. Now if we go to the navigator's side, really nice again in that we've got a double seat for navigators here. We've got the same pop-up bolsters. So again, you can stand up here 
and stick your head out of the roof for that in the face um, experience. Um, and nicely in front here, we have in front of the nav area, uh, we've got storage for charts and bits and bobs. And under here, as well as the cup holders, we have a USB charging point. So you can pop your, your phones or your tablets in there and uh, recharge. Now, before we go into the main accommodation, I just want to go back here because under here is something quite impressive. So if I lift this up, down here we have a huge storage area. And I'm just going to pop down here. And if I just take that, so down here we've got all the electrical distribution. We have 25 amp battery charger. We've got the circuit breakers there. And we have just plenty of space. Go this way. So you could store, I don't know, inflatables, toys, whatever you want down here. That's the fusion stereo system. And the inverter up there. So really useful, extra bit of storage there. If I just hop out of here, we'll close this up again. Right, let's go and have a look at the accommodation. So what we notice here is that we've got a really nice large hatchway, doorway, which slides right back under the helm there and gives you a whole heap of space and you're not going to bash your head going down there. So you come into this sort of central lobby and what you suddenly notice is that the access into the main cabin is really wide. And the reason it's really wide is because you've got two doors. One is a kind of half door, so you can close that off and still get in and out or have them both open if you just want to create that space. But I'll leave them open for this, and let's have a look in here. So we've got a really nice sized double bed. Um, it is quite high, but you've got steps up on the side there to aid getting in there. Now what that does give you is obviously storage underneath here. So you've got storage under there, and you've also got plenty of other storage. So let's quickly look around. So in there, plenty of shelving. And again on tops so you've got plenty of storage which is all fiddled and on this side again more shelving with fiddles on there as well. Now what's also worth noting is that if we can just get down the side here each side of the bed has a cup holder for your morning tea or evening drink you've got a a USB charging point there and a soft shelf so for putting I don't know phones on there and things which need protecting so that's a really nice feature. At the top of the bed there you've got a couple of reading lights and above the bed itself although the covers on there at the moment we've got a, a hatch which would give natural light and obviously serves as an escape hatch as well. Now the side windows are a really nice size and they're also at a height that if you're lying in bed, you'd be able to have a really good view out. The windows are tinted and they do have little opening ports there. And as you can probably just about see, the ports aren't actually tinted, they're clear. But this feels like a really nice, um, certainly very, very well appointed double cabin. Um, and we are in a, only a 37 foot boat here, but it feels really spacious and airy. Right, let's go into, let's go, let's go back in here. Now what we've got here is a large hanging wardrobe and you can see that by demonstrating the clothing that's hanging in there. But that's a really useful size. And then just above it, we have the main control for your fusion. And we also have the Abbaspecca heating control there as well. So let's go into this cabin. So this is the twin cabin. Now, the first thing to notice when you come in is that you've got plenty of headroom. Again, I'm 6'2", and there's a good four, six inches above me already. 
You're then hit by all this storage. So plenty and plenty of shelving there. And if you need to hang something up, obviously you've got the hanging space that we just looked at. Lovely seat here, just to sit down while you're putting your socks on or whatever. And this is really neat because a lot of people wouldn't bother creating that, but a lovely little cubby hole storage as well. So really nicely done. Now, as we move into the, the sleeping area, twin berths, and they're really nice um, length. Uh, again, you've got great window out at the side there, so you've got a view. If you're sitting up in bed, you'd be able to see out. Nice little shelf here to put your knickknacks on. Um, I've got reading lamp above my head. I've got a USB charging point there. And look at the lighting in here, because we've got low level lighting down here, which makes it look really smart and contemporary and a bit like a modern apartment. And we've also got these down lighters coming down here and also on the outboard side there. So two really nice berths. Um, this one obviously restricted headroom a little bit, but um, cosy and you just clamber in there and um, I think you'd be great. We also have two additional storage areas. It's, the storage is just epic in this boat. It just keeps popping up. So one here and another one over there. So really decent kind of um, storage area. But what we also have in here is this twin berth arrangement converts into a huge double. So there's an infill that goes in here and this cushion here, which looks like it's just a backrest, slots in here and makes one massive double. And it really is big. Um, so you've got the flexibility of having a double and a twin or two double cabins. So um, a really, really flexible boat. And again, you can see the quality in this boat. It's, uh, everything is really nicely finished um, and you know, lots of, of lovely wood around the place. Right, let's pop out and look at the heads because that's quite a treat as well. So as we come in here, we've got a beautiful sink unit set with um, a storage under it and it's set on a nice work surface there. And as you move round, you've got a, a, a vacuum flush loo there and plenty of storage above the sink and units there. And again, a nice window for natural light and the ventilation. So really nice um, loo and sink, but then look at the shower unit. Now this is a proper walk-in shower. So you've got a glass door, you've got a lovely seat in there, and then you've got your shower controls and your shower. So while it's only got one bathroom, it's a pretty big one and really nicely appointed and plenty of room to um, enjoy being in there. Right, let's go back up top. So that is the accommodation and that's the interior of this very, very um, amazing boat. Uh, the quality is very obvious. The ingenuity of, of everything is very obvious. Um, I think the way that you can bring the outside in is amazing. Um, and I love all the automation, you know, the tables that go up and down, the engine hatch there, which unfortunately we can't open at the moment because the whole thing's um, part of the covers, but the engine hatch comes up on a big hydraulic ram there, so makes it really too easy to get in there and provides really good access to those twin um, Macruza diesels. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the boat as much as we have. It really does feel a thing of quality. Um, I know it performs really well as well. Um, it's a deep V hull, um, and from what we hear, uh, it really performs uh, in, in a seaway. So um, a, a really good all-round boat. So thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and please, please, please do hit that subscribe button because we want to join you. We want you to join us for all those uh, future videos we've got coming. Thanks very much.